$6.89. That is currently the share price of, let's see, not Apple, not Tesla, but Mike Merrill, a 45 year old man who has split himself into 100,000 publicly traded shares. This is a crazy story that came about because of something so simple. Like many others, Mike Merrill had hundreds of decisions each and every day, and he was experiencing indecisiveness. In 2008, he spun up the idea to sell shares of himself so that his shareholders could make the decisions for him. The opening price per share was a dollar a pop, and he was able to accrue a few hundred shareholders. Mike lets his shareholders vote on a variety of decisions, some as small as what should he wear, all the way up to big decisions like if he should move in with his girlfriend. Now Mike does hold some power, he does come up with the motions that shareholders vote on. A motion to go vegetarian was approved, but a vasectomy was not. Mike really followed the outcome of every shareholder vote. Now, investors do not get a cut of Mike's income, but the share price has certainly increased in value from its $1 per share opening price. Mike's very own brother was able to cash out and used his profits to buy a dishwasher. Wild. This story is not all sunshine and rainbows, however, as Mike soon hit a rough patch in his personal life and began hiding negative news from his shareholders, afraid that it would negatively impact the share price. He started accumulating credit card debt and his relationship with his girlfriend was essentially coming to an end. Shareholders were catching on, Mike received a pretty poor 34% approval rating after asking shareholders if he was doing a good job. Now, Mike Merrill was able to course correct and began sharing all the details around his well-being even the negative ones. That is not where the story ends, however, the next challenge was an unexpected one. Enter Patrick Campbell, a newly minted multi-millionaire who didn't want to spend all his fortunes on sports cars. Fascinated by the story of Mike Merrill, he laid out a plan to launch a hostile takeover. His initial plan was to begin purchasing shares on the open exchange from existing shareholders to begin building up a large equity stake. The problem with this is that his buying would be very public and it would signal his intent before he would be able to accrue a large enough stake. This is where Patrick Campbell caught a break. Mike announced a new share offering, releasing enough shares where if someone could buy all of them, they would have enough of a majority in the active shareholder base. Now Patrick's a multi-millionaire, he got them all. He ended up accruing 1,925 shares of Mike Merrill. Now this story is a little bit of a cliffhanger because it just happened. His plans are to increase shareholder value by getting Mike more exposure and pushing him out of his comfort zone. I'm excited to see how this one plays out. I'm going to be posting updates on my channel, so subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates and follow along. Thanks for watching. Peace, y'all.